E kia na te kōrero, kaua e utua te kino ki te kino. Engari kei roto o Highbury, te hapuri whakarekereke rawa atu o te papa i oaea, kua kini hia he ara hou, e huri ai te tai o tai patu. Ta huri tū moana investigates. They call it the, the soft art, but as you can see it's not, it can get pretty hard, but it's more about um, submission getting them in locks and holds, being able to um, choke them out, controlling them on, on the ground. It's more ground fighting, more than standing up. Ko te Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, ara te BJJ, he momo hākinakina e kai nākau hāre tiana e te ao. Ko Highbury te tahi hāpori kua ki te kē i o nga hua. I roto i nga marama e ono, kua tino pua wai te moi moi a o te tokorua nei, <laughs> Me and my brother used to sit at home saying if we win lotto, we'll get, or we'll do. You know, we haven't won lotto and we're basically on, we're almost to where we wanted to be, you know. We're doing what we wanted to do without even winning lotto. Yeah, living it, living the dream. Hard. I was doing some mischief stuff and ending up in court and but drinking too much and all that sort of thing and my life wasn't wasn't the best, and I um I looked in the paper one day and it was this um had this thing in there boxing for discipline. So I thought I need a bit of discipline. So I went down to this this hall and there was this little it was sort of a karate kid story to tell you the truth. And I, the truth and I um walked in there. There was this Japanese fella sitting in there and he introduced me to um shuto wrestling. And from there it was just I need to know more about the sport. I tōna kāina i tīmata te krapu whawhai nei. Nā wai rā, i hūnuku te krapu ki tētahi whare motuhake na te āwhina a te whare whānau o Highbury. Ko te whaina, kia whai huarahi ke atu te hāpori, hei makere i nga here kino i runa i a rātau. Oh, there was drive-by shootings. Um, if you were in the wrong colour, you'd probably get stopped and say, hey, you're on the, what are you doing here? Um... People getting, there was people getting stabbed. Yeah, just if you were on the wrong side and people didn't know you, you really didn't come here. Highbury has had a lot of negative media attention for a long time now. It's um, one of those places which has been highlighted as having gang wars, glue sniffers, rogue kids, what have you. And there's been a lot of energy put into Highbury from outsiders who come in and want to put this programme into place. They want to um, cure the ills of the neighbourhood by doing other things. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's the the people here in Highbury who know what they need and these two brothers and their wider network have recognised this sport, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, as a way of supporting their neighbourhood to do better. Kua naro nga kene Highbury, nga te BJJ, kua ora mai anō ko te Hāpori. When you're training the way that they do, your physical body is clean, your uh, spiritual and emotional and um, mental um, body is cleaned up as well. So that's been really big in terms of using sport to transform their lives. Tērā te wā, he ua ua ki a Fernandes Mackey, te tiaki i tōna whānau, i te matena o tana tamaiti me tōna hoa ranatira. Ko te kai me te moke moke o nga hoa. It's life-changing experience, discipline, uh, not so aggro anymore, not grumpy. It's what I, was, what I used to be and yes, yeah, so I've just found something to work towards, so like a goal, where I want to get. Nā te BJJ, ko amutu ia Roberts te inu waipiro, me te mahi tinihana. Yeah, control, I suppose, of yourself, of your minds, of everything, you know, and the habits from in here, you know, go out to, to what you do in life, down to my son, down to whatever I'm doing, you know, calm, control. Feels good not waking up with a hangover anymore. <laughs> the motto of the club is leave your ego at the door. And for our men, that could be a big challenge because they're so used to having to keep staunch and ensure that they um, are better than the next guy and that they reflect that. And this is a submission sport. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is quite a 
quite an intimate sport in terms of the the physicality, the closeness of the. Yeah, well, yeah, well, it's no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can't be shy. We're touching one another. We're in certain positions where it gets pretty as mouldy. We're like, yeah, I don't want to be in that position. And yeah, so you, you've, got, you've got to break that barrier of I've got to get close to you, and I've got to get close to this person. And yeah, you, it's a, it breaks the barrier straight away. As male to male, it breaks that barrier straight away. As in other box, uh, like in boxing and kickboxing, you know. But when we're here, if there's this distance between us when we bring jiu-jitsu, it's up and close, and I've got to cuddle you and stuff. And yeah, it gets pretty intimate. Ah, e harai te mea mana tani ana ki te nei tātaro. Girls can do anything, eh? <laughs> Kona wahine mea rā te tamariki te tuara o te nei kau papa. Jab normal, and then I jab and squat at the same time. Ina tata nei i peka mai a Dan Higgins he kai aku runu nui no tā wahi ki te fakanunu i te karapu. Kaore te toa fafai nei a Steve Oliver i te paku ohorere ki nga hua kuariro ki te hapori o Highbury i te nei hākina kina. I've seen it time and time again where guys have got no discipline, no sort of respect. They start training once a week, you know, and get their asses kicked basically and then they enjoy it, they feel like they can, you know, relate with the boys, come back, start training. Next minute they're training twice a week. You know, you can see them walking around with their head up a little bit more confident. It's not an arrogant thing, but they're a little bit more confident. They're confident enough to get out and start getting a job, you know, and, and I just see it snowball in a positive way in a lot of people's lives. Boom. See where I am here? Kei te mi haro nga toa o te hākina ki nga nei ki tēnei krapu. E nari anō e tahi o te hāpori, me ua ua kā aro mai. Once you get put in a box in certain communities, they, they keep you in that box. And... And that's been our hardest task, is that the, the, we're trying to tell people, yeah, we, we, we are, we're not angels, you know, we, we, but we are trying, we are trying. We've got Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and we, and we are trying, but it, it's, it's just hard when yeah, people are trying to shoot you down and waiting for you to fail. We had a lot of people saying that this wasn't going to work, we're going to be over in a month. It wasn't going to work. Well, have a look. Okay, we're not the best club in the world, we're not the flashiest club in the world, but we're, we're helping people. And they're helping us. I tērā wiki, e rua ngā me tarakoura, e rua ngā kiripaka, ko tahi te hiriwa i riroai i a hybrid jiu-jitsu i ngā whakataitai rereke e rua. Nō reira ngā mihi nui ki a koutou katoa ngā toa o hybrid jiu-jitsu.